Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be an awesome tool that you can use to optimize the gear on your champions and find out the multipliers and all of that to make those decisions on if you need more attack, if you need more crit damage, and being able to tell how you're going to perform in certain areas of the game. I'm going to show you how it works, and I'm going to provide that tool to you, so let's get into it. Alrighty, before I dive into showing you how the tool works, I do want to quickly note that uh, don't give me credit for this. I did not make this, um, and I haven't even really helped him work on it yet. I do intend to, uh, to, to touch base with him a little bit more and, and see how I can help in terms of you know making this tool even better because uh, it's kind of a, a newer thing, and you'll, and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a bit, but it's actually made by a clan mate of mine, uh, a good friend of mine, Ash Voyager, who also goes by Adam Maxis. Now, uh, he's probably put in about 40 or 50 hours at this point on this tool. Uh, you'll see how amazing it is. And uh, I want to be able to do something uh, nice for him. So uh, I'm going to be giving Adam Axis the ad revenue from this video. So if you want to support this type of work and, and this type of tool that he has worked so hard on to, to provide... All you got to do is watch this video from start to finish, and I will be sending him the ad revenue as a donation for all of his hard work and providing uh, not only me with this video, but also the community to have an epic tool like this. So yeah, let's dive in to how this thing works. And uh, okay, so this is the actual tool. <clears throat> um, okay, here we go. It's a spreadsheet, obviously. <laughs> you know how my videos go. But yeah, uh, I, I will link down in the vid description where you can go and, and get this spreadsheet. Now, obviously, it's going to be view only. We can't submit the the master version to the public. But all you got to do is go to file and then go down to make copy. And then you will have your own spreadsheet, which I have pulled up right here. This is one that I can edit and kind of play with. Uh, now, obviously, this thing's going to change. And uh, when there's significant changes and and, uh, and things are, are, are parts are moving around here. I'll make sure and keep you guys updated. I'll get the fresh version posted so you can make another copy and be up to date. Uh, but basically, you just put in a champion name right here. And it's going to load all of the stuff ready to go. You have your template. It shows you the multipliers down here. The A1 is 3.5 times attack. The book value, all of that. It's got it all right here. Multipliers. And this all fills in as you play with the tool. Uh, so you're going to go through and I'll pull up my Kale for you here. And I'll show you kind of how this works with a common champion like Kale. All right. So you're going to go to total stats. And we can see here the attack of my KO is 34.14. So we go attack 34.14. And then we're going to go input crit damage. My KO is 140. He's wearing some basic gear. I wanted to kind of show what a typical KO would look like. So uh, he's, he's wearing very attainable gear. Uh, then we've got, okay, uh, masteries 25%. So uh, what this is, is if you go to masteries, let me remove this. Um, okay, so you see here, he's got 5% uh, from attacking with full HP, and then 8% from first hit on enemy. And you can also get kill streak. Uh, this is you know going to stack up to 12%. So that's what that 25 is. It's the 12 plus the 8 plus the 5. And that's the 25% uh, the that you see here in the mastery category. I put that in to get a good idea of what I'm going to be hitting. 12-3 uh, brutal. The shades are on the last wave. So when you see the enemy defense, that's what this 1476 is. Now, if you want to find that out, this is how you're going to do that. You're going to come out of here. You're going to go to where you're farming. And typically, for most of you out there that are trying to farm 12-3 brutal, which is kind of the meta of campaign farming, you're going to go to 12-3 battle and then if you hold down click on shazar it's gonna bring up the stats of him on that campaign map so you can see the 1476 that's why i'm placing that value for the defense i want to he's the toughest one to deal with when you're farming 12 3 so he, he places the bombs and he's typically got the the the, the most toughness in terms of one-shotting him so that's who i'm basing the spreadsheet around trying to kill in terms of uh you know who i'm doing my damage against so let me go back here and pull kale up again here all righty kale and total stats okay and we'll get the spreadsheet rocking here Okay, so now I've got the uh, the defense plugged in of who I'm curious. The, the the enemy max HP 
I have it set up right now at 6 million because that's about what Spider 20 is. And I was plugging in my Septimus and, and trying to see if Savage set was worth it because you can do all sorts of cool stuff with this. You can put in, uh, ignore defense per set. Let's say you add a cruel set. So now you're ignoring 5% defense. Boom. You can see all the numbers adjust there. But uh, right now I've got it at zero on Kale because my Kale is not ignoring any defense. So I think one of the really cool things about this is you're going to be able to tell like stat optimization and, and and like you're gonna be able to make those decisions like uh what's better 200 attack or 10 crit damage you can and, and you've got kind of pieces you can move around and so let's let's plug it in okay so our a2 which is our kale's aoe we're going to be hitting in this scenario for an average my kale's booked of about 30.8 thousand so let's say i add 200 attack which is going to be 36.14 and that goes up almost 2000 okay so let's go back to 3414 and we gained almost 2000 so what about 10 crit damage that'll put us up to 150 and i gained a little bit less so you can see that's about equal the 200 attack and the 10 crit damage but what if i gained 20 crit damage okay now that is better than the the 200 attack so that's how you can kind of you can put your current and then put your your destination in terms of changing pieces and you can really make those decisions like okay so it looks like if i gain about uh you know 10 crit damage that's equal to like 180 attack on my on my kale and you can really move those parts around to get your your, your abilities kind of optimized in terms of what you're going to be going up against and make those tough decisions that we never really know where we're like what's better uh 200 attack or or 10 crit damage because it's all moving it's it, it's constantly changing it really depends on how the ability scales this is automatically taking into consideration the multiplier of the champion but i do want to make sure and note this is a a work in progress and and not every Every single champion in the game is on here so uh, when you type them in let's say we type in bellower it's gonna load it up and bring up the numbers but uh, there's gonna be some champions that you type in where it doesn't uh, come up like a sister militant uh, it's a, it just comes up as na it's not it's not in here we we, we don't have all of the well i shouldn't say we i didn't work on this uh adam adam doesn't have everything imported in here yet um but but most of the legendaries and epics are going to be in there when you type them in like bad l kazar and uh that one doesn't come up like that i wonder why oh i probably need the uh, hyphens it does need to be an exact match so let me put in the hyphens and there we go see it comes up that's good that, that was a good thing to do kind of live it has to be a direct match of what you see in game uh, to get it to kind of import the data and, and come up so that's a good example and bellower is also in here Adam did a great job of getting bellower and kale added before I did this video so that they will come up so if you type a champion in perfectly and it doesn't come up it's not in there yet but most of the good legendaries and epics are in there and then a couple rares are being being added in here and there as the the, the sheet kind of progresses and gets worked on but yeah let's show some real world capabilities of this thing let me put this away back out and let's fire up 12-3 and see how we do against that Shazar now that we've got everything kind of plugged in here so alrighty let's start this and we'll get to the last wave with Shazar all right there's that All right, and now we're on the last wave. We've got Disintegrate. That's the A3 for Kale. And there we go, the A1. And now we're on our A2 against Shazar. Um, okay, so we've got... We don't have anything affecting defense. You gotta, you gotta take into account buffs they have. So he's got attack and block debuffs. And we should have our, our full capability of masteries up. So all of this should be accurate. The... The 25 from Masteries, the crit damage, the attack, everything should be accurate, and, and the Shazar's defense. So, I think I've been going by the maximum damage on the right, uh, but I, I, I should look at the average in the middle. So, booked A2, so my acid range should hit for about 28,000. If you look at the booked A2 average damage there, I, I, I guess I can mouse over it and show you right here. Yeah, this booked uh, A2 average damage, I should hit this Shazar for about 28,000 right now and let's see the re real world application of this let's go a2 on Shazar 25.7 so that was a low hit 
you can see here that the minimum should be about 25.2 i hit for 25.7 there's a little bit of a window there plus or minus from the uh from the middle so uh that was kind of a lower hit but but it, it, it turned out pretty accurate uh it, it's saying i should hit my a2 anywhere from between 25.2 and 30.8 and i hit for 25.7 so that was kind of a lower hit on the spectrum of to be expected and uh yeah that's kind of how it ends up working and the real world application of it so let me back out go back to the home page and uh yeah that's gonna kind of do it i just wanted to get this video out as soon as possible and uh, i just kind of met with adam last night and and got to uh kind of discussing this and talking about it this will obviously be a work in progress and uh you know i'll see what i can do to help him in terms uh, of making the tool better and getting more champions in there and all of that and uh and, and yeah remember i'm going to be sending him the uh, the ad revenue from this video so if you made it this far thanks for supporting uh you know his work on this and, and uh and and, and kind of staying for the whole video so uh yeah I, i'll have a link in the video description that you can pull it up and kind of play around with this yourself remember you're going to want to go to that that uh that main kind of master copy and click on file make copy and that will give you something that you can kind of play around with and remember not every single champion is in there but you can pull up something uh you know close and, and be able to kind of see the optimal attack and uh and crit damage to make those decisions a little bit easier by plugging in those numbers so uh yeah as always thank you for watching have a good rest of your day peace